Martin. You are getting ready to go to San Diego, my I friend. I am, man. Sunny San Diego. Sunny San Diego. Now that you're going, Martin, I'm mm. kind of happy about it because there's a lot of things. Like I always say, you know, oh, man, ain't nothing in Comic-Con I need to see. It's going to be on the internet in the next two minutes. You know, I pull all that big talk shit. But really, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to see there. Sure. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice city. I'm actually going to get out and see it and do other shit. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, one of the things that's happening over there, Martin, is that everybody's talking about this new show. You know what show I'm talking about? No, Martin? what new show? You know, hey, look behind you. Mm, yeah. yeah, Gotham. Everybody's uh, talking about. Bad. Everybody's talking about Gotham, and I. And you know, you know what? I want to know about this because I'm curious as to what they're going to do with this, as far as where the tone is and everything. I like what i've been hearing but i also got my fears about it have you seen any clips from this at all Mark? yeah i saw i saw a long trailer for it or a few months ago and i thought it started with promise and then by the time it was done i was like i ain't watching this okay so yeah. Yeah. So look at look at oh so yeah. you, you saw a time oh, yeah. everybody going like, have you seen that trailer for gotham i was like yeah, yeah you don't want to know what i think about it yeah Damn. it started off i'm like okay yeah going to a you know, more straightforward approach and then by the end of it, i was like this this shit looks horrible. <laughs> Okay. Really you know what? Like, I like. I, I only got. A, wow. I got a limited capacity for how much I can stand of this. Yeah. Arrow's already got that. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> might watch a couple. Of, yeah, I might watch a couple <laughs> episodes of the Flash. But like, you're trying to do this now with Batman. It's like yeah, I'm nah. done. This this is different. So this could be. <laughs> see, there you go. There you go with that prejudice shit, Martin. There you go with that prejudice shit. I'm so glad that you. When are, they got to the point where they're like, oh, and the Penguins there. Oh, yeah. and Catwoman's there. I'm Poison like, Ivy. Poison Ivy. I'm like, all right, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, See, damn. Martin, you, I'm so glad you were not a white person because you'd be in the KKK because your prejudice <laughs> is so high right now. You, that made no sense whatsoever. It made sense to me, and that's all that <laughs> okay. matters. Court you, world. You, court, court, yeah, you, <clears throat> you just come out and you just have this judgment against things before you even give it a chance. Yeah. You just asked me what I thought about it. I don't like my answer that I got from you. <laughs> okay. Or your answer that you gave me. That's <laughs> a lot later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, exactly. <laughs> I ask you certain things because I expect a certain answer out of you. God damn it. Well, then why don't you write down what my answer is supposed to be on a cue card? I, shouldn't, I could just read it off to I you. I shouldn't have to put that much work into it. We, we've known each other long enough. You should know that already. But, my, <laughs> but you know something? Now, here's, here's the thing. They came out with some little teasers. Okay. I'm going to play one. And let's take a look at this because I see what you're saying. I hear what you're saying I, I, about this whole thing of bringing all these villains in, but at the same time, there's a certain aspect of the show and the tone that it's taken that might be something to, to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and take okay. a look. There's no way that that robber wouldn't have shot that kid no, too. Making all that noise. I'm not making all that noise. Well, Dad, well, gonna let you live, but fuck I that. Know. <laughs> I have an argument against it because I'm always precautious about going in something. See, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit of an asshole like you, Martin. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm, I'm I also see promise in things too. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that I was watching with this that made it appealing to me is that I like that that they are actually going in and seeing and it seems like they're getting away from the fantasy batman and getting a little bit grittier with it and that's some of the things that i liked about the graphic novels that i've read about commissioner with, oh, with yeah. commissioner gordon sure. are certain parts of the of, of the gotham batman world you know when they get right down to the down to the to the down and dirty the underbelly of gotham i like that street level stuff that they do that Me too where they like get that. real world yeah. with it got a little <laughs> nolan in there too you know? yeah, yeah. Has a tone. yeah yeah they listen to the to the fans except about one major thing <laughs> not having Batman. <laughs> <laughs> i think if you poll the fans the number one thing they yeah. would want in, in a, a batman, batman tv show batman would be probably, batman yeah he'd probably be up there see <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm... Stop laughing, Tommy! Don't encourage this shit! This is the kind of... This is the exact kind of shit that I'm talking about. You be the main one talking about... And you, Martin, are the main one always talking about, I want something different. I want to be surprised. So now, they give you a show where they say, you know something? We realize that Gotham City... Gotham City is as much of a character as Batman himself. And now they give us that, and you sit up here, and what do you do? Yeah, I want Batman. It ain't, a, it ain't a surprise that they found a way to Smallville Batman. Like, what, what surprise in there is that? Because is that because Smallville was still sort of. I mean, it, there was a, there was still that sci-fi fantasy element there. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. 
Because you're basing what you're just saying. Hold, now. hold on, can I'm, I just say something? Here comes the trailer. smart ass <laughs> comment from Martin. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, man. Everything you're saying is based on the, the trailer you just showed. And what that trailer showed summed up what I saw, the first half of what I saw in that trailer I watched, where I was like, hey, man, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. This looks like it could be all right. Okay. Everything that came after that, though, right? Right as I, came, I completed that thought, then they start going, well, now that you like it this much, what if we put this in there? And I was like, uh. I don't know about that. What about this? Now I like that less. And this and this. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. And see, here's the other thing. We see all those other characters, all those villains, Penguin, Catwoman, all that, Poison Ivy. Mm -hmm. You still got your Batman. Bruce, he's little Bruce Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, hey, you, hey you, you still, I mean, hold on, Mark. Hey, Mark, you still got this. You get to see the bitch that Batman was before he became Batman. It's like the equivalent of looking at Batman's baby pictures. Right? Yeah. Come on, man. I don't want to see a bear sitting both yeah. with Batman. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, you know, how he used to pee in the bed and shit. No, I don't want to see What we love about Batman is how smart he is, how he has his shit together. And, and knows things before everybody else. We don't want to see the fuck up Batman. Right. It's not the fuck up Batman. This is not, again, this is not centered on Batman. Oh, you're right, because he won't even be Batman he at all. And that, that's a good thing, man. Why not tell that story of the city? This, you know, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, this is why. This is why Hollywood does the same shit over and over again. This is why network television does the same thing over and over again because of ungrateful little ass Negroes <laughs> like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So one of the things with uh, asset this 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 show has is Donald Logue. Now one of the things this show has going against it is Donald Logue. Because every show he's in gets canceled early. That's true. Oh, that's true, Donald man. Logue. And, <laughs> and he like he looking at you like, yeah, why does that happen? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And also, this show is gonna be on Fox. And Fox the swings at axe yeah. wide <laughs> and two. hard. Yeah. You, you, have a, you have a show. If, hey, man, pe people love people love this show. Yeah. It's, it's a critical, it's critical, darling. And the ratings were high, first night as high as they once were. And Fox goes like, "Yeah, that's too bad. We cut canceling the show." You know what? That's what Fox should be called, not Fox Axe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they should. They should, and especially a show, any kind of like sci-fi element that costs them some money, yeah. that costs more than just a regular sitcom, that cancels that shit so fast. You be like. Everybody's watching this show. They'd be like, yeah, so. Now, I, don't, I don't mean to be shitty to you or anything when I say this, but. Really? You don't? No, I don't. Because <laughs> I feel like you're working hard at it. No, I don't. You put, I, I can feel the effort you're putting into it. But I somewhat agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> this Because, Martin, you touched on something and you hit on it early and I was going to wait for it because I had to fuck with you a little bit. Okay. I had to argue right, with you, okay, son. Okay. Because I knew you were going to come with that. And, you know, I, want, I, I say I want something different, but I don't really want nothing different shit that you do sometimes. Uh, uh -huh. But. This is the problem with a lot of prequels, except, especially with something like this, like a big property like Batman, yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Is that they go through the Star Wars effect. Oh, the, yes. The episode uh, one yes. effect. Now, I know people have been doing this before, but what is the episode one effect? Now, if you see here, let's just start with Batman. As Martin has pointed out here, you see that they're trying to, you, they're trying to bring certain characters that we're familiar with, certain villains that everybody knows and probably wants to see because they think the fans are clamoring for them. In addition to young Commissioner Gordon, you have Alfred. Okay, Alfred's got to be there somewhere. I mean, it ain't Batman, but somehow they, they put Alfred in yeah, that shit. Right, right. But they also have a young Catwoman. Uh -huh. she's, she's a little girl, okay, Selena right. Kyle. Okay. And they got a dude over here playing the Penguin. Oswald a young, Cobblepot. Oswald yeah. Cobblepot. A young Oswald Cobblepot, if you will. <laughs> and they also, and so, let me go ahead and, and, and read a little something that I got here that actually, when I was finding ways to defend this show, there's also something in here that made me say, Martin, you know, maybe, maybe this is a little troubling to me. This is the Hollywood Reporter asking, you've got the DC canon behind you. Are there any limitations to what you can or can't do? Robin, as in, can you put Robin in there? And they say, well, Robin has not come up yet. No one is off limits as long as we're dealing with the pre-Batman mythology. There are some characters, like the Joker, who appear in the Batman mythology after Batman does, but that does mean, that, I'm sorry, that doesn't mean the man who becomes a Joker cannot appear earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, they go on to, to, to say some other things here, but if look, if you do, if you have this world, a big, vast world, and you decide to do a prequel, Explore your fucking world. Commit to it. <laughs> Don't try to bring back all these characters that we see all the time. Don't fucking have Darth Vader, Bill C three PO. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't have all. It's a it's a fucking universe. Right. It's a galaxy of characters, and you still have all the same people hanging out with each other. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, it doesn't make any it, it sense. Makes it, it makes everything really small. It makes the world it small. Does. The problem with prequels now is that they can't, they cannot, they cannot commit to what they're trying to do as far as expanding their story. Uh, and, it, and usually it's because of the property being so big that even if the uh, the creators want to do that, the studios, they ain't having it. Really, Scott, hey, I'll, I want to expand the, the, the world that we saw of Alien right. and Aliens. You know, I want to do a prequel. I want to go a different direction. They said, okay, really, you can do that, but you better put that goddamn alien in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> alien said, you ain't going to forget about me. Ah! <laughs> a, lot of, you know, a lot of these properties today is just so, they're so constrained by being marketable that they cannot actually do that. So it, with Batman here, this show, I'm saying, you know what? Okay, maybe these, maybe these villains will work because they are the ones that corrupted the city. Sure. And, I'll, and I'll take that. But when you come in talking about the Joker, well, he might be and there, might not be. Don't fuck with me on that. Yeah. You know, do, how about you just, you, you have some balls and you do something where the Joker ain't in there at all. I, I talked mad shit about Arrow, especially for the first season. And while I don't think the second season is great, it became a much better show. But it is a show where the hero, Green Arrow, he's in it all the time. And when they bring in other characters from the DC universe, it go, you kind of feel like, all right, you've already set this up. It's his it show. It works. Yeah it's, yeah, it's his show. This is the little boy Batman, and they're going to do that. And I like that they've kind of created this world, but it looks like it's a I would. I don't think I've seen enough to know. Is this going to be sort of a period piece? Maybe this is in the 70s? Because it looks gritty enough to where it could possibly do that. And I'm thinking that's cool if we get something where Batman... You know, we th this story, our, our Commissioner Gordon story happened like two decades ago, and then it leads up to what we have right now. Yeah. Uh, but the other part of that is, if this is Batman right now, you fall into that whole continuity thing, like, again, with Star Wars, where we got used to seeing, you know, a 70s version of Star Wars, an early 80s mm -hmm. version of Star Wars, and then we got to the 90s, they could not stick with what they created. Right, right, so, right. So, true. Somehow it's a prequel, but yet technology advanced <laughs> way beyond the, yeah, no shit. Way beyond what we saw before. Uh -huh. You know, the, the, the same thing with Prometheus. We saw that 70s version, that gritty, blue-collar mm -hmm. version yeah. of of that, of, of, a, of a future world. Right. And we see Prometheus, and they got holograms and shit everywhere, and, you know, and glitter and everything. I'm like... Elaborate-ass holograms. <laughs> Elaborate-ass shit you did not see. Yeah. In, 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 in Alien. Or yeah. Aliens. Yeah. And That's so, one thing I hate about prequels is that shit. Yeah. And nobody, I thought no one else noticed that shit but me. Oh, no. Thank no, no. Everybody, <laughs> okay. No, everybody notices that shit, man. That's okay. what I'm saying. I mean, I feel kind of weird if they try to make a contemporary and, you know, maybe, but it could also work. Time could grow with, with the show, you I know? I mean, you know, it depends. Like, I mean, I, I mean, it's it's the TV universe. I mean, they can they can say like, hey, there's there's, there's, want, really. yeah, there's yeah. the movie universe. Well, there's the Tim Burton universe. There's the the, the, the Nolan universe. There's the animated series. Uh, the, well, several animated series, different universes. The comic book universe, several different comic book universes. You know, you can say like, hey, this is our TV universe. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, and that's my last argument right there. I mean, I had a lot of complaints here. Like, and a lot of them sided with you. I brought in some new ones, but overall. Being that Batman has become a property now, where Batman is no longer stuck to one mythology, you can you can take Batman and just do anything. Pretty with much, you yeah. Know, you can <clears throat> you can make you can make Batman an actual bat in a bat <laughs> yeah, suit right, and right. have that world, you know. Yeah. But it, I, I I say that this has a lot more leeway with these kind of these kind of rules instead of something that is more strict like Prometheus are or something that's more strict like Star Wars. So I'm willing to give it a chance because of that. But I will tell you this much: I'm like you, man. I, I love Batman. Shit, I'm kind of getting Batman. <laughs> I mean, every fucking week, y'all got a Batman thing going well, on. Well, plus, it used to be like, you know, Batman was something like, it was, I guess it's kind of exclusive. And now, you know, every every bro and douchebag is walking around wearing a vintage, a vintage Batman shirt and think they're an expert. And it's just, it's just, and it's not like, hey, man, this was mine and now it belongs to the world. But it's just like, it's everywhere now. It's not special anymore. No, it's not special no. anymore. Get Get Batman a rest. Exactly. I mean, next time y'all put that bat sign in symbol, Batman's gonna go up there with an axe. You know, I ain't working tonight. <laughs> shit, give me a give me a break. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, cut that shit out. Right. <laughs>